And now we're going to have a special extended set from your next comedian. Give it up for Beck. How red do I look up here? All right, so yeah, my name is Beck, and uh, it's actually short for Bakery. It's one of those weird made-up names that successful black people have, like Kanye, LeBron, Barack, Bakery. But uh, let's, uh, let's imagine I'm successful. Imagine. And by your silence, I appreciate your commitment to this exercise. <laughs> But uh, here's a headline I never want to read. Like, comedian Bakery was arrested last night on drug charges in Austin, Texas. Like, that would, it would be so hard to come back from that. Like, my, my parents would be so pissed at me. I can already hear my dad going, you fucking idiot. Like, this is the stupidest thing you've ever done. Don't you know that Bakery and Bakery only have one letter different? Like, this is stupid. You just basically shot yourself in the foot, son. This is dumb. This is dumb. I'd be like, yeah, dad, but you, you, you named me, right? Whatever. Speaking of shooting myself in the foot, uh, I became a dad last year. And, uh, yeah. And I named my son Bakery. I mean, Bakery. <laughs> Why? Because I want him to go through the same shit I did. You know? I want little Bakery to grow up and be somebody unlike me. And... I don't care if you think that's mean or egotistical, egotistical, testicle, what's the word? I don't know, whatever. He came out of my balls. He has my name, egotistical. You gotta love English, you gotta love English. But the problem with a, with a name like Bax that I can't walk up to you and be like, hey, I'm back, because you have questions, because you probably have this supposed to look on your face, like, from where? Which is fine. This, it, it makes perfect sense to ask that question, but then it gets silly, and then you ever had a, a, you ever had to laugh at a dumb question, a dumb joke, because your job was on the line? Like, my boss asked me straight up, like, do you have a twin brother named Front? And I have to go, <laughs> good one, Jim. Couldn't say anything. Um, but the thing is, so for people to take me seriously, I literally have to break down my name every time I meet somebody. And that's exhausting, man. Like, the other day I met this dude. I'm like, hey, how you doing? I'm back. B-A-K like my back, and I go like this, with the lunch and everything. And he goes, hey, I'm Chris. Damn, his name's Chris. Chris is the most common name ever. Like there are more Chris's out there than scooters, and those things are everywhere. I know we have some Chris's in the audience, so there's always a Chris 10 feet away from you at all times anyway, so case in point. But Chris can be anybody. There's white Chris, black Chris, there's Asian Chris, there's Latin Chris, but there's no Native American Chris. You ever notice that? Well, Columbus pretty much killed that shit off, literally, so that's done. And so, what I'm saying is there's too many Chris's to keep up with, so I came up with a system, a Chris quota, if you will, where I have 10 Chris slots that I recycle every year. So, if I'm in a new Chris and my slots are full, sorry dude, can't fuck with you, try again next year. Unless you're a Native American Chris, in which case I have a slot just for you, because you, my friend, are a rare Pokemon. I'm keeping your ass around. I'll keep your ass around. So I run into Chris a couple days later at Walmart. Don't judge. And I'm like, hey, what up, Chris? How you been, man? And he goes, what's up, buddy? I'm like, who the hell is buddy? And who talks like that? <laughs> and, I mean, I literally give you a way to remember my name. I spelled it out, B-A-K, like my back, and I went like this. But that's not good enough for you, Chris. So, to tell you what, if my name was Richard and I walked up to you like, hey, I'm Dick, D-I-C-K, like my dick, my name would be carved in that brain of yours for the rest of your life. Actually, my name, my face, and my dick in that brain of yours for the rest of your fucking life. But if you thought that my first name was weird, my last name, boy, it's, uh, it's pronounced Zumanigi. And I'm not gonna spell it out, because spelling my last name is like a Game of Thrones episode. Like you have to pay attention the whole time from start to finish, because otherwise you're gonna miss something and you're not gonna know what the hell's happening. And people die along the way. But uh, I've been in this country 20 years, 
And I get the classics, man. Uh, Zumongu, Zabumafu, Jumanji. I got Jumanji once. Thought it was pretty cool. I bought the guy a drink. Then my all-time favorite was first day of school, college, uh, roll call. And there's a bunch of us in the class. And by the time the teacher got to the Williams, he was already exhausted, right? And I'm last. So he can't skip me. So I'm literally the last thing he wants to see on that freaking list. And he takes a long pause and like he's about to take the shit of a lifetime and goes, Zao, Zoo, Zuma nigga. It's bakery, Zuma nigga here. And I'm like, uh, yeah, that's me. Just, just call me back, B-A-K, like, like my back. And I wasn't mad, you know, cause I hadn't heard this version of my last name before. And you know, for the rest of the semester, I was the coolest kid in class. Like all the black people were like, yo, back, back. Bang. You know Zuma nigga, right? So props to you, Mr. Uh, Dick Johnson. And yes, that was his name. Don't ask how I remember it. <laughs> but uh, I'm from Africa, in case you couldn't tell. And uh, the reason why I say Africa is because if I told you the name of the country, you wouldn't know what the hell I'm talking about. Because when people think Africa, they think South Africa, Nigeria, Kenya, uh, Zamunda, if you were over 30. Wakanda, if you're under 30. But all the other countries, nobody gives a shit. It's a bunch of naked black people running around, hunting lion for breakfast, going all day, right? But people want to know where I'm from all the time. I'm like, I'm not trying to give you a geography lesson right now. Come on. And they insist. I'm like, all right, it's Senegal. To which they go, well, my teacher's cousin's daughter went to on a safari in Kenya four years ago. To which I say, Alligators live their entire life with a hard on, and when the dick comes out, it snaps in and out like a rubber band. Because if you're going to exchange irrelevant bullshit to each other, might as well learn something. That's all I'm trying to say. That's my time. I'm back. Did I go over? Yeah. Shit. <laughs> I'm gonna have to cut some shit off. All right. Thank you. Thanks, buddy. Back coming in with a hot seven minutes. What? <laughs> Bam, <Bam-o>. no. <laughs> Hell no! I'm going to the cutting board. <laughs> this is some bullshit right here. Hey guys, I uh, just did number 14 at Lil Rudro's, uh, the South one. And uh, it was cool because I got to do my entire six minutes uh, for the FBIA contest. Unfortunately, I went over like by a minute. So, you know, I, I, I think. I have a lot of material, not a lot of material, but I'm, I'm too wordy with my jokes. So, but it's good because it's easier to just uh, write a lot and then cut back than the other way around. So I'm cutting a bunch of stuff because I got to mark my pauses like I've been talking about uh, over the past uh, month or so. And um, yeah, so I think I think that it did, I did all right. Uh, I performed in front of a bunch of comics who've already seen my act. So, um, you know, it, it, it's not a good gauge to see how the audience would respond, but I really tried to slow down and uh, try to mark my pauses. Uh, but if you don't hear anything, of course, you just move on, right? Um, so, yeah, I just got to cut a bunch of stuff off, uh, be less wordy with my jokes. Uh, that's my exercise. Um, and I'm going to keep practicing. I'm going up on Sunday, uh, the 14th. So good luck to me. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to another open mic right now. So thanks for being along this journey, <laughs> but it's great. I, I love the writing process and I, I think I can get too caught up in it. Um, but yeah, I have to cut some stuff off, uh, and speak slowly so I can have a six minutes tops for FPIA. And past that, you're just disqualified. People hate you. The other comics, the the staff, everybody. So I got to come under that. I'm shooting for like 530. So, all right, cool. Talk to you next time. Ciao.